Now in this section we will cover the battery monitoring unit. It is a microprocessor based unit and cooperating three functions or submodules. These submodules are not necessarily the separate physical units but are shown separately here for the clarity. The battery model characteristics in a software algorithm affects the behavior of the battery in response to various external and internal conditions. These models can then use three inputs to estimate the status of the battery at any instant in time. An essential function of the battery model is to calculate this SOC of the battery for the functions noted here. The SOC is determined essentially by integrating the current flow over the time, modified to take account of the many factors which affects the performance of the cell, then subtracting the result from the known capacity of the fully charged battery. The battery model can be used to log past history for maintenance purpose or to predict how many miles the vehicle may run before the battery needs recharging. The remaining range based on the recent driving or usage pattern is calculated from the current SOC, the energy consumed and the miles covered since the previous charge. The distance traveled is derived from the data provided by other sensors on the canvas. The accuracy of the range calculated is more important for the EVs whose only source of power is the battery. HEVs and the bicycles have an alternative get you home source of power before the battery become completely discharged. The problem of losing all power when the single cell fails can be mitigated at the cost of adding four more expensive contactors which effectively split the battery into two separate units. If the cell should fail, the contactors can isolate and bypass the half of the battery containing the failed cell allowing the vehicle to limp home at half power using the other good half of the battery. Outputs from the models are sent to the vehicle display also using the canvas. Now the demand model is similar in some respect of the battery model in that it contains a reference model with all the tolerances and limits relevant to the various parameters monitored by the battery model. The demand module also takes instructions from the communication bus such as commands from the BMS to accept a regenerative braking charge or from the vehicle sensors such as the safety devices or directly from the vehicle operator. This unit is also used to set and to monitor the vehicle operating mod parameters. This module is sometimes called the personality module since it includes the provision for programming into the system. All the custom requirements which may be specific to the customer's application. For example, the cell maker will recommend a temperature limit at which for safety reasons the battery must be automatically disconnected. However, the car manufacturer may set two lower limits, one at which the forced cooling may be switched on and the another which lights up a warning light on the driver's instrument panel. For HEV applications, the personality module interfaces with the engine, engine control unit via the canvas. The provision is made in this module for setting the desired system SOC operating range and the parameters for controlling the power sharing between the electric drive and the internal combustion engine. The demand module also contains a memory block for holding all the reference data and for accumulating the historical data used for monitoring the battery state of health. Data to display the state of health or switch on the warning lights can be provided to the vehicle instrumentation module via the canvas. The outputs from the demand module provide the reference points for setting the operating conditions for the battery or triggering the action of protection circuits. The test access of the BMS for monitoring or setting system parameters and the downloading the battery history is provided. Now the decision logic module compares the status of the measured or the calculated battery parameters from the battery model with the desired or the reference results from the demand module. Logic circuits then provide error messages to intimate cell protection actions or to use in the various BMS feedback loops which drive the system to its desired operating point or isolate the battery in the case of unsafe conditions. These error messages provide the 
input signals for the battery control unit. In the system communication, the BMS needs a communication channel for passing signals between its various internal functional circuit blocks. It must also interface with several external vehicle systems for monitoring or controlling the remote sensors, actuators, displays, safety interlocks and other functions. Automotive BMS therefore uses the CAN bus which was designed for the purpose of its main communication channel. The system should also include provision for standard automotive onboard diagnostics that is abbreviated as OBD with diagnostic trouble codes abbreviated as DTC made available to the service engineer. These connections is important for identifying many external causes of battery failures. In the logbook, it is the computer-based software program for recording or logging states, events or simply in battery functions as we cannot record the event of the BMS in paper-based logbooks. The versions of the logbook was derived from the old-fashioned paper-based logbooks which have been used in the maritime sector. Today a wide spectrum of different implementations of these electronic logbooks is available.